Traders War Room proudly presents the daily video with the best trading and investing alerts anywhere on any platform with up-to-date stock, chart, and market news. TWR is simply your one-stop shop. Monday Madness. Stay tuned at the end for TWR Hot Products and Services. Alert update. Took an XOM play based off of that OPEC news, and it ran pretty good. 92 entry, we hit a peak of 166, and then stop loss on runners kicked in at 140. Took Tesla to the downside today, had a little trim, 62 to 69. We'll look to see if we got continuation downtrending pressure, which after hours look like we might get going into the market tomorrow. So we got some runners still open on this and we'll see if we can close out full position tomorrow for profit. And the big mamma jamma today was coin. After the SEC put the whooping on the Binance, coin started taking that dump and man we rode this thing 158 all the way to 378 that was a fantastic trend trade and we definitely got some runners kicking off seeing if we get continuation to the downside but overall that's a fantastic trade going for almost 2x right there 100 to 1000 dollars per day is possible as a traders war room market warrior so quit wasting that money that's not making money and join twr today all links are in the description. Hot off the press. So the biggest item was Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference today where they put out their highly anticipated Vision Pro. This is the headset that's going to cost $3,500 and it's going to run to iOS 17. Um, it's one of those things where, you know, they're going to see how this plays out. Now, the technology is supposed to be fantastic. It's supposed to be like completely different than what the Oculus, their competition in Meta, pushes out. And so it'll be interesting to see if this helps the stock or hurts the stock because it's definitely hit some all-time highs and has slid since they had this WWDC conference today. So it'll be interesting to see how we close out this week and the market reacts going forward. The SEC sues Binance and you saw that definitely in the crypto market today. One of the reasons why we went ahead and did the trade on Coinbase because we saw that the overall ecosystem of crypto was sliding and so we went ahead and take this as whatever it is. You know, we know that these litigations go on further, but the SEC is not just going to push out some litigation things for things that they just assume. So there's some sort of evidence based, you know, approach to what they believe they have a case against Binance. So it'll be interesting to see if Binance is the next one to fall because of some stuff like that. And they're talking about the major tech stocks that have been pushing the S&P and the NASDAQ and the market higher have been pretty much limited to a handful of stocks they're dubbing the Magnificent Seven. But it needs to be noted that investors have drained $77.5 billion from equity funds going into more fixed income. And that's a huge amount of money that's rotated out of the stock market and into the fixed market via cash or cash alternatives. And we need to take note of that because that is typically what happens. If you looked at my video that I did the other day, the tech video, that's typically what happens when bubbles are about to burst. You get the profit taking and the rotation of funds. So I'm not saying that the bubbles bursting or anything like that. I just want you to be aware of what's going on and we need to make sure that we follow the big money. Hot trends. All right, so here's your stock market summary. The market overall is bearish. The leader index today was the Qs, the hottest sectors, utilities, and the worst sector was industrials. Top stock was MDB. The worst stock was TMUS. And there's a quick chart on the SPY index. You notice that we had a nice little rush going into midday, and then we sold off pretty dramatically going into the close. Here's a heat map so you can see where the big sectors are that are making the moves and making the market shake. You know, really what you're looking for is the bigger blocks because those are what hold the market caps and can move the needle on the indexes. The smaller ones, when they're combined together, yes, they can be powerful. However, you know, imagine all of those small ones 
right here, all of those blocks still do not really equal to the market cap that we have with the big tech. You can just see that the big tech is just massive. And of course, when these things are red, normally you see a, a sea of red because you got others that are riding coattails down. So here's your top biggest gainers in stocks, MDB, Lulu. We're interested in that because they had such killer earnings. Triple M is interesting because they actually had a, a decent day today and they got a whole bunch of litigation and stuff going on. A lot of bad PR. So I don't expect them to stay elevated too much, but Triple M is really low. So this could be the price where people start to think about investing back into them because it's just too low and too good of a deal. So we'll see how it plays out. Some industrial names, CAT, DD, DE. And then of course we got some other stocks that we're paying attention to as they're booming right now. Biggest losers, T-Bombull is interesting because that is still, you know, getting crushed based off of this Amazon type of news and speculation that really hasn't been, you know, put anything solid on it, but they're still getting some of that negative pressure. Roblox, they're getting some of that issues with some of their, you know, background noise that they have going on with their program. Crowd, that's something I'll be looking at uh, tomorrow because it definitely sold off today. Usually once it sells off, it likes to bump up and, you know, come back a little bit. So we could see a nice 2% jump or something like that in the day. You know, T, Verizon, a lot of those uh, carriers of, you know, cell phone and communications, they're getting hurt right now. So it'd be interesting to see if we follow those and we can catch the reversal when they start getting some volume back into them sector rotations and this is important because you want to be able to follow the money well this is showing you where the money is flowing to right now you got big tech taking the big brunt of most of the money that's being flooded into the market followed by communication services so definitely you're starting to see the big money kind of fall away from those energy and the financials and go into more of the technology and the communication services and it'll be interesting to see because coming right up underneath those is the consumer staples and that'll be important because walmart is being poised as the king of the consumer staples and target as you know is being put into that discretionary item and targets just absolutely getting crushed so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out at the end of the week and to see where the money is flowing into which sectors here's your sector performance and some insider transactions these are the biggest buys that are happening or have happened by insiders and the same idea only this is the biggest sells that the insiders are taking positions in and kind of trimming and selling their positions in these particular stocks so you know it's interesting to know about these because you want to know insider moves can give you an idea of what's to expected with a particular stock or sector and so it's important to watch these because this could be the start of something or could just be taking some profit because they haven't been taking profit for so long so it'd be interesting to see how these play out stocks i like okay so here's how the chart's gonna go basically you're gonna see three colors purple blue and red the purple that's our battle zone all right triggers on the high and the low that give us the idea of continuation to either our high target which is blue or our low target which is red definitely got to use these as trigger points and ideas because the volatility of the market can change the landscape in an instant okay so very cautious head on a swivel and be ready to attack Here's the top stocks that are trending. Of course, you got Apple. Of course, you got Coin. And of course, you got you because there was a little bit of a push with you because of some Apple interesting news. Uh, BA, we got Elf, Roku, Meta, Pins, and Anet. So we'll go over some of those charts here in a moment. So Apple did what we thought it was going to. It was a basic and classic buy the rumor, sell the news. I do think we got another leg to the downside. And I think that we could easily see into the 177s, if not 175, before we find support for the next leg up. Coin had some disappointing news that followed along with that SEC and Binance. It did peak back up towards the end of the day, but I don't know if this will be able to hold it with the news. So 
definitely will look at the battle zones. We'll follow the triggers to the upside and to the downside. But I do think that we probably got another leg down as we probably will go retest that support at the 55 area. You will be interesting because this definitely pushed on volume associated with the Apple news. Uh, we'll see if this can hold, but the idea is that the Apple headset will be able to kind of revolutionize some of their gameplay. And you, being one of those software companies that deals in that realm, would likely benefit from that. So utilizing the triggers, we'll look for continuation either to the upside or to the downside. Tesla has been trading pretty tight. We're starting to look like we got a two hill hump to the downside. I think we slide a little bit as we're starting to lose our short term moving averages. And I think we go down to retest and see about that 50 day moving average. Roblox looks positioned to probably push to the upside. I think we go up and we see what is going on with the 50 day moving average and we'll probably go test some of those highs out of this zone so i'll be looking for the trigger to the upside more so than the trigger to the downside and finally pins pins is looking like it had a nice little run it kind of wicked out at the top sold off we probably got another leg to the downside but utilizing the trigger points we'll see if we get continuation but right off the chart i'm a little bit more bearish than bullish on this one and i think we'll probably go down to the 50 day upcoming events activate your two-day trial of twr all access on the discord platform we cover it all at traders war room whether you're looking for stocks options futures forex crypto or even sports betting or you want real-time alerts live trading algo signals or even if you just want to be part of a community of like-minded investors to grow learn and share together as a team something for everyone every budget and every style join twr today and trade with the bulls our next class is set guys on 11 june at 1 p.m central standard time twr is going to teach you sports betting 101 how to pick and bet the winners from the losers. Our instructor, Tech Bets, is the best analyst you've never heard of. He's the total package, guys. He has a great win percentage, great picks, and great knowledge. And he's only on TWR. He's going to teach you the basics and the strategy that makes bank betting on live sports. So, sign up today right there at traderswarroom.com slash upcoming classes. And as always, the link is in the description. I will see you there. And then we got a new flyer. Of course, it looks different than our last one. But following that class on 25 June, we got the TWR Gap Trading 101. I'm going to teach you guys how to destroy gaps to destroy the market. This is going to happen 25 June at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. $15 gets you a seat and everybody gets the recording. Of course, same thing like the last class. TradersWarroom.com slash upcoming classes. You can sign up right there and that link is in the description. Join the TWR Investment Club. Are you tired of trading alone? Losing more than you're winning? Or are you just too busy with work, family, and life to focus and hit the mark of bullseye? If that's you, then join the TWR Investment Club. We trade the account for you and then pay you profit and loss distro. We run both a 30-day and a six-month club. The next club round starts 1 June, and the link to join the free chat where you get all the information is in the description. Traders War Room is your one-stop shop. Try our TWR one-to-one -one mentoring. Does the market have you feeling like this or wanting to rip your hair out while you watch your account dwindle? If that's you, then Traders War Room has you covered. Our one-to-ones focus on you as a trader or investor. The Zoom session connects you with a TWR professional. Whether we're covering charts, developing a plan of attack, or being strategic and deep diving on the how, why, and execution of trade plans. TWR one-to-ones will give you the confidence to attack, conquer, destroy, and make the market bend the knee in 2023. Join TWR and bow to no one. Book your session today. The link is in the description or on the website at tradeswarroom.com. Let's go to war.
The market is our war zone and stocks are the battle. Join TWR and let's go to war.